a banker and his wife killed on their return from New Year Day's uh, church service. Their, their, their killer was actually in the house waiting for them. He killed, they killed them, they killed both of them, they set their body on fire, they kidnapped their son and their house girl. Welcome to the moment of truth. Full gist followed. It has been reported that their son they kidnapped and their house girl, they both found dead in the water, in the river, with their hand tied. They tied them and threw them in the river. Prior to that, they said this couple, they lost their first son a um, few, months, few months before Christmas. They were just recovering from the sad news, sad passing of their son. Then their only son, they, they kidnapped that one after they killed both of them. They killed that one too. So whoever that did this to this family, they actually wiped off, they wipe off this family. Only God knows what happened. These people are Christians. They are Christians and they are big people. Husband was a banker. The wife too worked with a university and then she, she, she's a big person as well. So obviously they be big person in their churches, in their church, they giving fat offering, they be well known in their church and all that. My question is, they were there in the presence of God. They've been going to, they've been going to church all this while. So they didn't see all these evils that was coming after these people. The evil didn't start on the New Year's Day. It, it has been ongoing and the church cannot solve their problems. And they'll be giving their money to pastors. Pastors will be subjecting them to prayer and fasting, to all sorts all sort of deliverance and all that. That's why we are saying, know God for yourself. If you know God for yourself, you have relationship with God. God's protection will be over you. Definitely, uh, God's mercy did not speak for these people. I'm not judging them. I'm just going by the scriptures. Because when you go, oh, the face of God is, is, is on you. If he watches over you, no evil can be for you. So if something like this is befalling somebody, it, it, it's questionable to be the, all this thing happening to Christians. It breaks my heart. And it makes, it makes people to think that Jesus is powerless. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It has not changed. It's the Christian that has changed. It's the Christian that has lost their position in Christ. So we, 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 we have to stop doing church. Stop doing church. Do Christ. What is happening now, each time I see this, look at that lawyer that was shot dead, seven months pregnant. Yeah, she was, she was kind of twins, seven months pregnant and uh, coming from church and she was shot dead. Ah, and I say, where is the mercy of God? Where is the grace of God? The, the, the Bible says in, in, the, in the day of judgment, his mercy will speak for us. If, we, if we, only people that know all these things, we apply it to, to their lives. The, the, the church leader have made themselves big. They put themselves in the place of God. So people see them, they don't see God. People rely on them, they don't rely on God. People put all their hopes on these church leaders. They don't have any hope in, in, in God. That's why all this is happening. They didn't teach God how to rely on God, how to make God their all in all. And that's why we are crying. We are crying, we are telling you. There's nothing in all these pastors, all these papa, you calling them Papa, well, you, you are dis disobeying God already because God have already warned us. May call nobody your father. Our father in heaven is the father of, 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 of we all, including our including our, our biological parents. It's so, it's so sad eh, that uh, the, uh, the father, the mother, all their children, they be calling their pastor their father. And I'm like, what's going on here? What is going on here? These religious, religious, religious uh, people, leaders, they, they, they've made themselves gods over their followers. And because they know their followers don't, don't know the Bible. They don't know their God. They don't read the Bible. These people have no power. They have no power. They cannot help you. 
Now that all this is happening, we tell you that they cannot help you. That child did not see that evil is about to befall these people. These people too, they are even far from God. That their spiritual alarm, their spiritual alarm is dead. Nothing is telling them anything. These people, the, the people that came for them, only God knows what, what, what transpired between them. They wipe out the whole family. The whole generation of this man wiped out. They wiped them out. Look at the housemaid as well. So it's now, before you become, you, you, you work as, uh, as home help in any home, in any of these uh, big people homes, you have to find out. You have to know where they belong, who they are. So you don't take your head, carry what is not yours. There's another one happened in Sapele. A says girl was killed. A says girl was killed with her boss. A young girl, she just went there to make a living, to earn a living, and they earned her life. So these people are putting their hands in all sorts of things. Because the, someone that does not know you will, just, will not just come and do this to you. And do this to you and do this to your children. I, I saw this. It breaks my heart when I see this. All this thing, evil happening to, to Christians. And I'm like, oh my God. They, 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 they will make the unbeliever believe that there's no power in Christ. There is power in Christ. You have to know it yourself. You have to know how to tap into it. You have to take your position in Christ. Take your authority in Christ and apply it to yourself. Because God will not, will, will not force you. God will not force you to do it. You have to find out yourself. And how do you find out? Read your Bible. The Bible is there. Make God your all in all. Your everything. And don't put your hands in rubbish things. Do God alone. Jesus is enough. Don't do Baba Lawo. Don't do any, any, any prophet. Any of this nonsense. This is all nonsense. It's all nonsense. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.